Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Pelican Castaway 150 DLX Kayak. This kayak is 15 feet long. Um, it's a pretty nice kayak for the price. Um, MSRP at a local place that sells them um, is $700, $750 around that area. A place called Half Hitch Tackle here in Panama City Beach. Um, however, I got mine half off, paid $350 for it. Um, Overall, it's been it's money well spent. I'm not sure if it's worth a full on $700 or not, but overall, it gets the job done. You'll notice right here, there's a pretty good bit of storage. These clips right here are my main issue with this kayak. Pelican kayaks are a little bit thinner, that's probably why they're cheaper, and these just don't stay tight. And this is why the bungee cord isn't crossed, and it's just hanging right now. But that's that's not too big of an issue. Also, these clips just don't hold the bungee cord as tight as they should. The dry storage, um, I probably really wouldn't trust it being dry, just like a lot of other dry storages on many kayaks. But, I mean, it... It really doesn't get too wet. I mean, I haven't had anything get wet in there, but I'm sure if you flipped over for a long enough period, it would actually probably get water in it. The seat is all right. Um, it's definitely worth the upgrade because there's not a bottom pad, but at least you do have the back support. Um, the drink holder <laughs> isn't quite deep enough, so it doesn't really do very well. It does come with a factory rod holder in the center also, though along with flush mounts on the back and it also has a cleat factory also um, the foot pedals are pretty nice they're adjustable um, and also this right here the front hatch the buckles on there just not strong enough this one broke the first day and also the handles on each end of the kayak they broke pretty quick um, so that's definitely something to upgrade. The drain plug, already replaced it as you can tell. Um, overall, it's not the best kayak. Um, my primary purpose for this kayak is to run out shark bait. However, I have taken it eight miles offshore with a few other buddies. In fact, you should go see some of the videos. GoPro Tabers, I'll put that in the info, in the info box. He's got some really nice videos and some other kayak reviews.